faded dreams of Division Street. A writer does well in his whole lifetime if he can tell the story of one street. Nelson Ogren lived those words hard and unflinchingly, delineating Division Street with the precision of a surgeon's scalpel. The evidence was Polish Broadway in post-war Chicago. Ogren revealed to us the rules of the con games. He had us examine the failure in the faces passing many billboards unattainably high, higher than the L tracks in the days before those viaducts were barricades protecting the gentry from the housing projects. Days when a shot and a beer only set you back 15 cents. Division Street has changed over the last 60 years, surviving a Jekyll High transformation, like the old Sinatra hangout that became a Mexican laundromat, to reemerge as a gentrified hangout for a new breed of clubbers. The monarch beer signs are long faded, and no one urges you to open a bottle and draw off a glass of Drury's. These nights it's a liney. Lining Kugel on tap, or Rolling Rock. The bartenders bring their own CDs to play during their shifts. Screw the jukebox, give the boys and girls a photo booth to drop their jingle in. The linings are two fifty for an 8-ouncer. You won't find factory workers down this sad street anymore. What you will find are wannabe hipsters, perpetual grad students, skinheads, all-nighters, more than a few grings, Fengalis, nursing house bourbon with toothless mouths. The old men are the only ones who wins when the flash in the photo booth goes off. They know better than any of us that frozen moments are the worst of memories. In Algren's The Man with the Golden Arm, first published in 1949, Frankie Machine dealt illegal card games in a hushed back room of Schweifka's with his pal and partner Solly Saltskin steering the marks through the door monotone poker faces in a seven to three world. The elevated train reminded them when it was time to move on. Sinatra played the starched collared morphine addicted Francis Machinek in Otto Preminger's film. In his words, it's all in the wrist with a deck or a cue. We're a litany for the next minute being better than the last, or at least no worse. The elevated train has moved on, where Aug Augren's Iron Thunder once moved level with the second floor flats down Polina. There is now only the occasional gunshot from one of the seven gangs that populate the neighborhood streets. The O'Hare Douglas Line, the Blue Line, is now a subway. The face of the north side changed 25 years ago with the creation of Interstate 94, the Kennedy Expressway, where Schweifka used to be. On the corner of Damon and Division is a bar these days called the Rainbow Club. The steerer is gone, replaced by a bouncer, a black man with veins in his biceps as big as a nun's reproaching finger, and the neon in the window clots his face. At seven in the evening, you can still hear your own breath in the place, eleven o'clock, and it's a hive of opinions. Most of the crowd consists of students from the Art Institute downtown, the cheap housing and cheaper regentrification. You won't see health bars or luxury condos crafted in incomprehensible shapes and colors. Have kept the neighborhood from going to hell as more of the old country people die off. And they do die off because nobody along Division Street ever retires to a different city. And I'll stop there. Part two will continue on momentarily. Wayne Allen Sally reading to you on March 28, 2011. And it's uh, currently 11.05 uh, p.m. Part 2 in a moment.